What is going on fellow Clash Royale players? Thank you for stopping by Galadon Gaming. It's so tiny! Yes, it's the smallest possible deck in the land in all of Clash Royale. 1.7 average elixir cost. And let me tell you, this deck is so overpowering. All you have to do is find an opponent that does not have a poison. Zap, Valkyrie Bomber, Arrows, Fireball, Dragon Witch, Fire Spirits, Bomb Tower, or Princess. And if they don't have any of those cards, they are in so much trouble, you are just going to wipe them out, take them down, three crown them every single time with this deck. And that's all you've got to worry about. So really, just check it out. Obviously, not a lot of people are going to be carrying uh, one of those cards. Uh, Poison, Zap, maybe, Valkyrie Bomber, who carries arrows anymore? Fireball, Dragon, Witch, okay, Fire Spirits, Bomb Tower, Princess. So, yeah, um... I was kind of in trouble when I started using this deck, and it's fun dropping all these cards, but man, oh man, oh man, it is not a great offensive deck. Uh, probably for defensive, maybe you could hold your opponent off, but you're still going to be facing the same issue when they drop cards like a witch or a dragon or anything <laughs> that does splash damage at all. And I'm getting the wows, and I'm throwing the tears out because it doesn't look so good for me right here. Despite being, well, let's just say a few levels higher, then my opponent, and I am a hashtag loving the log, love the log, but it's not working out so far. Uh, my little ice spirit, couple of ice spirits, mirrored ice spirits in after the mini P.E.K.K.A. And well, that worked out. I mean, that right there, that individual exchange was okay. Let's throw a log in here along with some fire spirits. And well, we do finally get a little bit of damage on this left tower, but oh, did I forget to mention ice wizard? Yeah, he could probably cause this deck some issues as well but again I am playing near league reset so that's why I am facing much much lower level players I haven't pushed up higher yet and I got to get there like I said before I got to get there somehow and if these guys happen to win then you know it's much harder fought for a level 9 to get to say 3100 trophies than it would be myself so I understand the frustration when those players lose to a much much higher level player like myself so I'm happy to have them win once in a while as the log harmlessly rolls past the Tesla. The poison spell just annihilates my huge group of units laughing at me as I cry uh, tears of pain as every single one of them gets wiped out. What is the answer, you guys? Two league reset. Uh, should they reset people who get past 3,500 at 3,500 and again at 4,000? Would that reduce some of this? crossover we're seeing when level 13s face level 9s for a few days after league reset i don't know again i want to hear what you guys think but right here this guy has received a gift from the clash royale gods or from this video and there it is a one crown win for my opponent and it's time to go back to the drawing board and think that maybe that just amass a bunch of units and send them out at once strategy is not the way to go so we face another player. This time we're facing a level 10. Again, you can see he might have one or two of the problem cards in the Fireball and the Dragon, but he's got an Inferno Tower, and that is just about useless against my deck, so we're going to see what we can do. Again, in the beginning of these battles, it's more testing out, seeing what I'm going to be facing and seeing if he's got, say, a Fireball that can wipe out a bunch of these units at once, or if I'm going to get them in there with the Log, with the Ice Spirit on the tower, he decides not to use the Fireball, and that is a lot of damage on the tower, suddenly looking really good. Really surprised that my opponent didn't drop that fireball on that entire group right there. And now here comes the Lava Hound. So we are going to mirror fire spirits and one, two, three, four, five, six fire spirits jumping onto that Lava Hound's back. And that works out, but again, we're going to take a lot of damage. Princess, Dragon, luckily, yes, being that much higher level, I am able to zap the Princess out of existence. That does make a difference, and now we've got another big push. Lots of little tiny units on their way, and this time the Fireball. So, we are going to get a little more damage on that tower, and surprisingly, getting a tower down with about a minute 45 left, all because he let my first push get through with all those little tiny units. Again, I guess maybe if you catch your opponent off rotation from the splash damage, the Fireball, the Zap spell, that is the time to do it. This deck, it is super fast, but... Well, just maybe not the most strategic deck, especially 
when you see air units coming at you. Again, another Lava Hound, more minions, and more Fire Spirits going to work there. Loving the log, but the log not being very helpful here. And I have to tell you, one of the things about this deck is because you can almost deploy a card every second or two, you just get this sense of panic, and I just keep throwing cards out there. It's so hard to be strategic with it. It's so hard to have any point to this other than just amass as many units as you possibly can and hope that they get there. And that's really all that I did for these battles. I got a little bit lucky in the first push there, and that's why I got that tower down. Now it's a matter of shifting to defense, and that's really what this deck could be a little more effective at, defending against a big push. Maybe not so much against the Lava Hound again. That is giving me a lot of trouble, but Ice Spirits, Fire Spirits all over the place, getting a lot of damage in there. Spear Goblins helping out as well, and I just wish that I had my Zap Spell up, but it does look like I am going to be able to save this tower just about 20 more seconds to survive. He is going to drop a Princess way in the back, so it looks like at this point there's really no getting to the tower here. I'm going to have lots of little guys to try to stall him, even the Zap Spell just to buy me another second or two. The Ice Spirit as well. As time counts down, he gets to the tower. I drop in another log, and we are going to grab a Miraculous 1.7. It's so tiny, Elixir deck win. It's so tiny, it's... Right, next battle. Okay, this one I said to myself, I'm going to put the log to use. We're going to make the log work for us. We want to love the log. I want to embrace the log and use it at any point of this battle that I can possibly try. And you can see that I'm kind of up against a serious uh, deck here. I've got the fireball and the arrows to deal with. So yes, that is going to annihilate uh, entire packs of my units. And he's got the three musketeers, which I don't know. I feel like I could probably overwhelm them with the little units and anything like that, any high damage, especially say a P.E.K.K.A. or a Golem is going to be easy to take down. Princes probably as well, but right here got a big giant pack and yes, one of the cards on that list of weaknesses, the Valkyrie gets the job done. So uh, yeah, so this guy's got a lot of different cards that are going to counter this amazing 1.7 Elixir deck, but he doesn't have a log. I always wanted a log, and for those of you that were watching the live stream when I did get that log out of that super magical chest, yes, it was a super magical moment, and maybe I got a little more excited than I probably should for getting a piece of dead wood, but there it goes down the right-hand side doing nothing but grabbing about 100 hit points off that tower. Arrows wipe out all of the goblins down the right-hand side, but I'm not done. Here comes another log. We are going to log our way into the record books right now and just roll the entire forest down the right lane. Okay, here comes the three musketeers, so we've got to worry about them. Zap spell to stun them just for a second, and luckily, just being higher level, I am able to stall those guys long enough that they don't wipe out that tower, and I can get ready to go back to work with the log. Now, don't forget it, people. It is hashtag log is love, log is life. It is all about the log, and we've got it, and we're going to use it this time, yes, again, after that right lane tower, we're just going to see if we can't almost completely take the tower down with just a log. So we're going to mirror logs once again going down the right-hand side, and I feel like we're getting some progress in if we just use our other miscellaneous units down the left-hand side, and we continue to roll logs <laughs> down the right lane. There comes another one, double log action. That's right, you've been double logged by Galadon. I gave you my log. It was a gift. And a couple fire spirits didn't hurt either. Here comes another set of three musketeers, but I've got all sorts of little tiny units to help stall those three musketeers and hopefully take them down. Forced to use the log this time on the left, but I saved the mirrored log and the mirrored log goes down the right hand lane after the tower once again. Here comes another log, 12 seconds left. The mirror is up. Good thing this wasn't a drinking game. Take a drink every time Galadon uses the log because here it comes as time counts down. The tower goes down and it is going to be a log victory. 1-0. Good game. And the log definitely is love. Definitely was life in that battle. So there it is, you guys. The cheapest, smallest, fastest, tiniest, whatever you want to call it, deck. And the grand finale, the log in action. That may have been more logs in one game than ever used in history, who knows? But thank you guys, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. I think about you guys every day and truly appreciate every single one of my subscribers. 
Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Join me for a live stream and chat with me directly, and I will see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. With logs! Gallidon, expect an email from my attorney. The saying is, pay to his love, pay to his life, and you stole it. That's not right.